Shows one in four people go back into an abusive relationship for their pet. According to the uh, APSCA, LB11 in the Unicam aims to help with that by putting pets on protection orders. Our Bella Carata spoke with one survivor of domestic abuse about her experience. I don't know if this sounds terrible, but I would rather be killed than my animals be hurt again. Meredith Roach lived in Nebraska with her dog Dozer and cat Katniss. She tells us her abuser would hurt her and her pets. I had to um, tell him what I would want the consequences to be. <laughs> and sometimes there would be a countdown until I could give him an answer. And if I wasn't able to answer him, then he would beat Dozer in the head. Until she reached out to Shelter Me Nebraska for help, the local nonprofit fosters pets while people look for a safe place to stay. She gave us her dog first um, because he had been beaten badly and she was trying to get out, but she got her dog out first. And so we took, we took Dozer and we provided safe shelter for him. And then uh, a couple days later, she called us and said that she had been abused and her cat had been abused. And we immediately jumped in to help her and her cat. During the process of leaving an abusive relationship, people can file protection orders, but pets are not an option on them in Nebraska. LB11, introduced by State Senator Carol Blood of Bellevue, aims to change that. The bill would explicitly put pets on protection orders and allow police to arrest if somebody is in violation. LB11 would have really helped Meredith a lot. She would have been able to escape a lot sooner with her pets. On your side, in Omaha, Bella Caracta, 6 News. At the hearing for the bill last Friday, no one testified in opposition. However, a representative for the Nebraska State Bar Association said they're working with Senator Blood's team to change some of the legal language in the bill.